Hello and welcome to the Geek Lab. Uh, today we are going to be looking at how to emulate any modern Android mobile phone using Mac OS. Yes, this will allow you to like test out any operating system on any phone, just get a general feel for the phone or test out apps before putting them on your phone or if you're a developer this will allow you to develop apps on your computer. So first of all we're going to need to download two programs. First one being VirtualBox. So for macOS you can download OS X Host. This works the same way except for download the Windows versions if you're using Windows obviously. Now that's going to take a few moments to download. So as well as VirtualBox, which obviously runs virtual machines, we will need a program called Jenny Motion. If you just type install Jenny Motion, if you go to installation Jenny Motion there, read the instructions, Jenny Motion operates operation relies on the use of Oracle VM VirtualBox. So this actually uses VirtualBox in the background. You will not be using VirtualBox itself in this. You just need it running. So you need to install that and then for Windows, click there for Mac OS, zhuk. download and install VirtualBox for XOS. Yep, when finished a reboot. Go to the Genomotion download page and download the Mac OS X 64 bit package. Doink. So do that. You'll need to create a Genomotion account. This is all free. Uh, I've already done this, so I'm going to sign in. Once you're through, check your system has minimum requirements and uh, download for Mac OS X. And off she goes. Now that's downloading, we can have a look at VirtualBox. Just click on uh, the DMG, verify it, and start installing it. I'm sure you all know how to do this part of it. Right, once that's done, just click on virtualbox.pkg and I'll start doing its stuff. This package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Continue. Continue. Right, install for all users of this computer. Continue. Install. You need to put your password in. Okay, installation was successful. Close. Move the file to trash. There we go. And that's VirtualBox installed. So if we just go down here, we can start up VirtualBox like that. And while that's doing, we can now look at this Jenny Motion. Right, Jenny Motion, just drag the Jenny Motion app across to the applications and the Jenny Motion shell across to applications. Wait for it to do its stuff up here. Then we can close that. We can then find Jenny Motion. Do, 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 do. Jenny Motion, there it is. Click on that and wait for that to open. And your virtual devices is ready for you to select. Now, another thing on the Oracle Virtual Box, go to Global Tools and make sure if you go to Virtual Media Manager, nope. If you go to Host Network Manager, Make sure these are enabled. This allows it to share with Jenny Motion. So once that's done, go to well, you can go put this back to machine tools so you can see stuff happening. Go to Jenny Motion, go add, and you'll see it downloads all of the phones or Android platforms currently available. So you've got custom tablets, custom phones, the Galaxy Nexus, so the Google Nexus, uh, HTC One, different versions, uh, Motorola Moto, Motorola Zoom, the Galaxy Notes, S2, S3, up to the S7, S8 at present, uh, Sony Xperia tablet, so you can't pronounce that, there you go, you can select your Android version if you wish, you can uh, select device model, so I'm going to go with the Galaxy S8 and all I do 
is click which version I want so latest version is 26 so if I go there and next it will give me basic information about the system there and if I go next check file integrity it will then download the file which might take a while right I've already used this one in the past so it's already on my system but if not it will download it for you so if I go finish there it is and I can manage it get rid of it tools and stuff and press start so initializing that starting virtual device and then hopefully and here's our system booted and you've got exactly what you would see on a normal phone so there we go and if you want to scroll left and right it took me a while to work out but here once it's got stuff hang on if you click here uh, all your apps come up if you want to scroll you use the left you use the scroll wheel on your phone sorry on your mouse uh, so you've got all the usual stuff here uh, you can assign a camera if you really want yes allow but you'll see there's no camera but what this system will do is allow you if you click here to assign a camera on and then whoop, front camera is web camera preview Okay, my back camera it's after. There we go. And you can actually see me. At a weird angle. I'm uh, not showing you any more than that. That's scary. So, let's knock that back off. Because I don't want to see, one see me at that angle. That's horrible. Right, so, yep. All your usual stuff. You can go back using these ones. You may get some sort of lag. Uh, you've got your usual stuff here as well. Your home button. Uh, menu button brings up the menu won't do it here that which brings up all the different apps in use and the back button volume twist it which will show you in a moment the GPS which obviously isn't going to work here and battery which is yeah always going to be 100% now one thing you may see is missing on this version is the App Store or Play Store Google Play so what you have to do is open G Apps uh, click accept. There we go. It is now downloading the relevant stuff. So you will now be able to download apps. So we'll have a quick look at a couple. Right, okay, so that's now installed and um, we have to restart now if you want to see them. And you see as it uh, reboots, it'll open this support thing for no particular reason. There we go. And uh, it will restart. Okay, we are restarted and we should do an initial little bit of lag. Obviously, the performance of these devices is going to depend on what hardware you have in your system. But let's have a look. Play Store should boot up. It does take a few moments the first time. Right, it is going to want you to sign in. So, let me do that now. Um, don't need to back this thing up unless you really want to if you're using it for development and Google Play so if we try something like Temple Run Temple Run 1 do me install as you can see it's downloading it now this is a 2010 iMac I'm running this on so uh, your performance will vary when running the software, but you'll see what it's like on this one. Okay, it's downloaded it, so we can now press the open button. Viewing full screen to exit, swipe down, got it, right. Okay, and here we have Temple. Run. Yeah, but there's no sound there for a second. Okay, we'll see how, how well this runs on this. And as you can see, it's running pretty smooth. Use the mouse just to uh, just use your mouse to go left and right. Make sure it's on the screen because that could get nasty. And here we go. See, 
to volume up. There you go. All right. So like to turn, so we can go like this. And as you can see, this game runs pretty well on here. Oh, the only problem you've got to make sure you're on the screen. Do it. So let's have one more go. Okay. So like to turn, and that that's running perfectly on a Galaxy S8 on Mac OS. Yeah, there we go. Nice job. And just move the mouse up to jump. See, it's a little bit like. But do remember, this is recording the video at the same time, so you've also got that aspect. Okay, so that is that. Let us go home. Now we can press that, and hopefully. No, nope, not that one. Close. Oh, oh. messed up, didn't I? So close that. And we can now go and just try, just for laugh, YouTube. We'll install YouTube and then uh, come back and I can show you how that works, how well that works, and uh, rotate the screen as well. Okay, so here we are with <laughs> YouTube. What am I typing YouTube for? I don't know. Oh, look at this uh, this uh, nice looking fellow <coughs> right okay uh, we can go to this uh, YouTube fellas one and oh I don't know let's have a look at that one so you can have it running in that direction it's your friends first oh ads I hate ads download the Amazon app and let it find you just see your there you go and the video's running. Let's just see if we can progress it somewhere. There we go. And Jason Form to your news. There it is running. And we can rotate. Still working. Still skipping. And there we go. Full screen video. It does on mine at least with the HD. Struggle for a short while, but you can Drop it down, and it eventually forms much better. So there you go. That is, and you can uh, reboot this in any of the phones on that list, and try them all out, and have fun, and perhaps play some games and stuff, or use it for development, or just to test out what you think of the operating system on the relevant phone you're interested in. Where's the thing gone? Ah, there it is. Right, so rotate screen back. So there you go. That is... Boink, 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 boink. Any modern Android uh, mobile phone running on Mac OS X. Mac OS or Windows if you want. Uh, via Genymotion and VirtualBox. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you find it useful. If you uh, are interested in tutorials and videos like this then uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted of actual new videos you can find us on facebook and twitter and if you enjoy the channel and you want to support the channel then you can do so through patreon other than that thank you all very much for watching you need to quit being dirty you're a dirty boy <laughs>